Yo guys, what is going on and welcome back to the Pure Iron Man series. The stats are on screen right now and we do make some big gains this episode, let me tell you that. The general idea is we're working towards 70 Slayer so I can use Wild Pies to boost for a Granite Mall and then go PKing on this account. Yes, that's right, Pure Iron Man PKing. We're going to use Bounty Hunter, going to use Teleport to Target, going to get loads of emblems and we're going to get rich. But before then, we need to go on a little bit of a Slayer adventure so I'll leave you with the content today. Hope you enjoy this episode. If you do, do not forget to give me a like. If you enjoy yourself as well, do not forget to subscribe and I will see you in the clips. This is my first rev task in a long time and now I have range potions and i have above 80 range so i can actually kill more of the revs other than just the fiend look at me killing an orc i am a strong little pure iron man right now and a rev teleport i would never get that off the pyre fiend that's so good a dragon plate skirt give me the money this rev trip has been going so well it's so much better than it used to be now that i've got the range potions and i can kill them with msb which is really really good for me no way, I just came down same trip because I was about to tell you. And we've got the second D plate skirt. So looking at that bag, it is not too bad at all, is it? 400k. Rev task completed. And I've gained so much more supplies and money than I used to. We're going on a Slayer binge. Let's have a look. Lesser demons. I actually can't bother doing that. I'm going to use my points on skips because this is going to make me not burn out a Slayer. Ankus, I can do that task. That's good with Salvami. Next up, we have some... Scorpions. Okay, that's really good. That means I can melee those. I need to start training my melee stats because I think I'm 58 strength at the moment. And that needs to change. I've barely trained melee so far, but look at this gear. We have some pretty good gear to go and do it. We can get plus 79 strength furnace with the ancient staff. It's better than a rune simi if you didn't know that already. Task done. I had to bank the staff because I was risking the staff in my cape. And that is not good. There we go, Revenants again. Wow, we are getting lucky on these Rev tasks. I can extend that as well. No way, I can't believe we've got another statue on this account. Oh, how much is this worth though? How much is it worth? Please be like 8 mil. Oh, it's 2 mil. That's really good though. I don't believe it. For, the, for those of you that haven't been following the series, we actually got a 16 mil one before as well. This time, oh, that's so good. That's i'm so happy we're going to be making so much money from revs in the long run that two mil cash is an extra boost to what i've got and i could probably i don't know i could probably go and do some interesting things with skilling with that and it also will help for buying lots of supplies like runes and stuff like that but yeah we got a two mil statue it's not a weapon but you always are going to be loving to see the money there we go rev task done it's pretty empty right now so i might stay around for a little bit because i'm getting decent kills and you never know what's around the corner. The best way to do revs on an Iron Man is to attack anybody who attacks your revs. And I've brought my other account along so I can duo PK on them both. And then take other people out. Again, Revenants again. 96 as well, that's huge. Well, I guess we're going back to the caves. I'm not going to complain. We're currently 65 Slayer. Come here, come here, come here, Dragon Impling. This is some flying glories right here. Thanks to Rev Tour Guide shouting out in the CC. Oh my god, it's going to go across there. Ooh. Oh no! I can probably get over there with the agility. That's a bit of a run. Oh, I'm gonna have to go get it. Oh no, I think my friend's got it in the CC. No, go, he's got it! Oh my days. He slimed me, a fellow pure Iron Man has snaked me for. I don't know what he gets. Been AFK in this account a bit as I do some other stuff. And we're about to hit 80 woodcutting. And. The levels are forming a really firm base for an Iron Man account on this. Like we've got a lot of high stats at the moment. Don't really know why I need wood curtain, but I may as well just stack up some U-Log so I can make some bows and train some fletching in the future. Another day, another Hespori. Let's get this bucket. Nope. Instead we get a 73 farming. Joy of joys. We can now plant lantern dimes. But I've got another seed ready to go, so we're still on the hunt. Well, there goes my last rev bracelet. Good times, man. Okay, that rev task was rough. 88 skeletons. I will take that. That's melee. Just look at how powerful my melee gear is for my combat. I'm 57 strength. And I just hit a 21 with my ancient staff and my berserker ring and everything and the salvami. So these are really worth meleeing, I think. It's good XP. Oh my. The chaos alley. Eat. I would have just lost my fire cape if I didn't eat there. 
And I got slapped up, <laughs> but that is not- Why can it attack over here? I'm risking quite a bit here. Another Chaos Elder Druid task done. No Elder Chaos robe top, bottom, or hood so far. Still looking for those ones. They're the best in slot mage for a pure. I'm 82 range, 67 slayer. I'm not showing all the tasks because I don't want it to get boring. This task is so good for me though. Just give me a bucket. Slaving Ultra Compass is the bane of my existence. And we get some pineapple seeds instead. And some Iasaur seeds that I can't even plant yet. Great. No way. We got a piece. Yes. Finally got an Elder Chaos Road piece. I don't know what the rate is. I think it might be 1 in 500. So saying finally is a bit rich. But that's a best in slot upgrade for us. That's so good. Best in slot mage bonus in the game for my pure Iron Man. Oh, two more pieces to go. And I think, yeah, with one left on the task. That's so lucky. I think the bracelet protected as well. How much is that? I'm so happy. I'm so, so happy. This is what it's all about. Best in slots. Let's freaking go. And there we go. Task finished. One kill later. 69 tasks in a row. I love this one because you get to pray as well. And it goes so much faster. It's good XP for me. So the upgrade is from the ghostly robe bottom, which is plus four, up to the elder robe bottom, which is plus six. I mean, plus two doesn't seem like much, but you'll take everything you can get on a pure. And the whole set is going to look so good. So I'm happy to start knocking out these best in slots. The worldly slayer grind continues. Greater demons. I'll do those. They're AFK, the easy safe spot. And pretty chill up in Deep Worldy. Here we go. Here is 77 Fletching. Don't mind me. Just doing some Theatre of Blood right now on the side. I am only play the pure quite a lot while I'm AFK in Theatre of Blood. On the main. And yeah, I can now plus three boost for Magic Short Bows. I just needed something to chill out and do while I was doing this. Come on, first time. Let's have a look. Oh yes, first time. That's what I mean. Getting the stats so you don't have to plus five boost every time makes it so much easier. We're chilling. Make a few magic short bows for revs, for PKing eventually, and all that sort of stuff. While I'm skilling, may as well do some herb lore. I've been doing a lot of farming runs from the farming guild because I've got a lot of more herb seeds from the contracts, and it's working really well. Now we're 69 herb lore. We can make anti-fire potions, and the next big thing is getting to 72, and then I'll be able to plus five boost for staminas, which, oh my god, that'll be a huge, huge upgrade. But if we look in the bank here... Maybe not the herb tab. I can use those to make anti-fire anti uh, potions, but it's mainly the seeds. I had hardly any seeds before the farming guild came out, but farming contracts have been so, so good for this account. I'm on a skilling streak right now. 74 farming is going to be coming in from this papaya tree. Can we do anything new? Logavano trees. That's great. Probably never going to do that, but farming is really good to get up. I need to get to the point where I can grow dwarf weeds and all those sort of high-level herbs. Finally plucking up the courage to go and trade in my emblem. Some Iron Men actually uh, alk these, but it's definitely not worth. There's level 75 over there. Let's ignore that. Let's get our 2 mil and then get the hell out of this place. There we go. We're stacking cash now. And I've got a lot of GP, but I'm not entirely sure what to do with it. I had a couple of plans. Yeah, 3.7 mil now. I will take that all day long. Hopefully, we'll be getting even more from revs in the future. I think I will be able to camp them out in total level worlds in the mornings and stuff. But yeah, what do you reckon we should do? I reckon maybe construction. If you guys have any ideas, please let me know. We're streaking 70 tasks in a row. So 1,260 Slayer points. I can actually afford a spare rune pouch if I ever lose mine. Lava drags. That is a money task and gives me some good black dehydes to get some spare black dehyde chaps for the eventual PKing sessions. Weekly raids are here and I've got a fishing room first, which is sad because that's less points. And the snake's coming out to steal my rod. But yeah, hopefully we can get some loot from here. We'll see. Probably do like three, four raids this week. First raid of the day could only get 17,000 points and we don't get any items. It's really annoying when the fishing room is first because I get less points. And I had to run through the raid to get to the bats, which are better. First loot's coming in here. Oh, we get 850. That's actually a really good one. The Kawams are really good herb lore XP for me. And then these runes, and they're not worth very much in the normal game. However, I have to buy those for like... 400 each because I don't have any other way to get those. So that's really good for Zaya teleports for days. They actually made an update to raids, so thieving rooms are five times better points. It's probably worth me doing these now. Sadly, the points cap from this raid was reached really quickly. I've got 16k and nothing as we get to see the team complete the raid. But what are we going to get from the chest? Hopefully, there's something good, some herbs or something like that. Raids loots have the potential to be great. 20 torstals and some dynamite. I don't think that's the best loot, really. Torstals are good in the long run, but I don't know. Dynamite's kind of rubbish. 
Had some really bad point layouts for me today. Fishing room's always been first, and then look how far this is in. I've got some tightrope points, but Hunter is so much better. Another raid, another 15k points. I can get over 20k if the Hunter room is first, but sadly, we've had mostly fishing ones today. I think this will be the last raid of today, so hopefully we can get ourselves something good. Maybe a Dark Relic? Who knows? I don't really know what to expect from these. They're always pretty good loots, though. 63 rubies and some more torstals, so that is not too bad. I'll continue to do raids when I can, and hopefully one day, declaws. claws <laughs>